Alright. Are you ready? Maybe. <laughs> Alright. Well, I hope so. <laughs> let's dive into this. Okay. Hello, belly dance princesses and princes. Hi. Speaking of princes. <laughs> How you doing? I'm Magnolia, and we are here today with James who is a belly dance hobbyist here in Atlanta, Georgia. And today we're going to be talking with him about what it's like to be a male belly dancer. Lots and lots of interesting experiences. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. We kind of talked about this beforehand and we thought it would be really good to share it with all of you since there aren't that many male belly dancers in America. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Yeah, we're definitely few and far between. So let's get started by talking about how you got started in belly dance. How did you find it and decide that you wanted to start learning about it? Okay, I got I got roped in by another dancer. Oh, interesting. Yeah, uh, I had been going to a drum circle in my hometown, uh, which is fairly conservative, so it was probably the only drum circle for that town. So I liked what she was doing and I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. So I got up and I started to mimic what she was doing. Oh, neat. So. <laughs> So uh, after a little while of this, she she stops and she says, "You know, you're really good at this. You should come to class." I'm like, there's a class? <laughs> what did I do? What's it called? Yeah. And and I've been doing it ever since. Um, That's awesome. Yeah, it's been it's been just about a decade later. Um, I've been kind of on again, off again. That's really funny that you started imitating this person, not even knowing that they were doing belly dance and then kind of got roped in. Did you feel like when you saw her dancing that the moves kind of sort of made sense to you and appealed yeah. to you? Yeah, no, no. I, uh, I, I recognize the, the innate grace and such of it yeah. and, and definitely appreciated it. That's a good answer. Yeah. <laughs> so going back to that, you had mentioned you've kind of been on and off again with belly dance. Is yes. that partially due to a lack of opportunities for you, do you think, with performances? Yes. Um, and I think this actually falls in with one of the other questions on how do I actually find gigs and such. Yeah, that is it. We need to know that. <laughs> yeah. Um, most, most of the reason why I've been on and off again is because of circumstances in my life. Um, but, but it's exacerbated by lack of opportunity. A lot of it has to do with finding, finding a group that actually wants a male belly dancer. Mm -hmm. um, for me, when I, when I came down here, uh, one of the first places I found that actually trains belly dance has in big bold letters on their website, we do not train men. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, um, I kind of have to be really careful about it because I have to find groups that are actually comfortable with having me around. Okay. Particularly around like the dressing room area and such. Yes. Um, I've had I've had a very broad range of experiences with that too. Okay. Um, Can I elaborate? Yes. Yeah. And they would literally Stripped out in front of me, continue the conversation you were having, <laughs> yeah. yeah, redress, and then go back out on stage like nothing happened. Yeah. Others are kind of sensitive to it and think, uh, like, just by simply being alone, mm -hmm. I'm being some kind of like uh, passive pervert, oh. like, and getting a free show. Oh man, yeah. But that's that's something I have to watch for. Right. Um, I can kind of understand a viewpoint from someone who's maybe been attacked before, that they might feel uncomfortable about that. But I also, I can understand your side as well, and someone assuming that you're a predator just because you're a male and you're there. So you kind of have to walk that line, right? Yeah. So how do you sort of navigate that? Uh, questions. I try to find out, I try to find out um, what I can about the group before I actually even just show my face. Okay, um, that's great. I could see that. I could see you ha needing to be extra sensitive to help people react to you. I've never been explicitly unwelcome. I've never had anybody just like bar the door and say, no, go away. So let's talk about something a little sensitive, mm -hmm. but I know it's on everyone's mind. Um, assumptions of your sexuality. I'm oh. assuming that when non-dancers, or actually also dancers too, when they see you performing belly dance, they probably assume your sexual orientation. Oh, yes. Yeah, so do you want to talk about those experiences and how you sure. sort of dealt with them? Sure, because it, it happens all the time. So, so I'm going to relay the story uh, as it was told to me in the best way I can mimic it. Uh, but my girlfriend had been in the audience 
while the performance is going, and, and I was on stage performing at the time, so of course I saw none of this. She, she leaned over to the, the couple next to her, and she nudges one of them, and she says, so what do you think? Is he gay? And, what? yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, and the, the couple, <laughs> the one that she nudged, says, oh yeah, totally, he's gotta be. He's like, gotta be. Gotta he's be. gotta be. Gotta be, direct quote. But she says, but you wanna know a secret? What? I'm his girlfriend. Oh, God. Uh -huh. Got back to her like, really? Like, yes, really. And they were just awestruck. Uh, and apparent, apparently- they Blew their minds. Yes. That someone could be straight into belly dance. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> My gosh. Yeah. When I first met you, you had on your costuming for a rehearsal. Yes. And your costuming um, does not look like what a traditional woman would wear for belly dance. Is that what normally you wear, or did you go through different styles of costuming? Ah, um, but what you saw me in is pretty much what I always wear. Okay. Um, because costuming choices for me are actually pretty limited. Mm -hmm. Everything else was custom made for me by a seamstress. That makes sense, yeah. yeah. So that would probably be pretty expensive though, too. Yes. Yes. So, so I don't have a lot of costumes. Let's dive into some of the negative experiences you've had with trying to belly dance while being a male. So, um, specifically, has anyone ever approached you and said anything sort of negative to you? Yes. Uh, I've, gotten, I've gotten various comments over the years, but the one of the ones that sticks out in my mind uh, happened, happened while I was in college. I had come from a, a, I come from a belly dancing class, and this guy had just finished playing basketball. Okay. He comes up, uh, starts, starts to talk with us as well. And, and it comes out that we just come from belly dancing class. And I was a dancer too. Mm -hmm. And his, his first reaction is, oh man, I can never do that. I'm just way too faggy. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And, and this, this was a day where I actually, I answered back. Um, yeah, you should. That's like offensive on multiple levels. Yeah. What I said uh, was, oh, wait, hang on. I just came from, you know, about hour and a, hour and a half shaking my ass with women in various <laughs> states of undress or dress, whereas you just came from brushing up five other sweaty guys. Are you sure you have this correct? Yeah, that's a good comeback. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How did he react to that? Oh, he cussed me out. I'm, I'm not surprised. Yeah. No, yeah. He, was, he was not happy. Do you hear homophobic comments like that often? Is that the most common thing? That that would be the most common thing. Just simply the establishing, you know, a separation between themselves and it, you know, for fear of being, um, well, for fear of being with, with uh, homosexuality. Right. Yeah. So let's talk about your personal life a little bit and how belly dance affects that. So you have a girlfriend, right? Yes. And you've been dating for a long time. Yes, for three years now. Three years. That's a good relationship. <laughs> so <laughs> I would hope so. So three years, by the time you met her, you had already been belly dancing for a while. Yes. So how did she react to that when you told her? Uh -huh. Did you tell her? I did tell her. Did it at the beginning or did you wait a while? Uh, I waited a little while, uh, simply because it's not one of those things that I particularly wear on my sleeve. Okay. Uh, told her about it. Uh, she loves it, by the way. Uh, Great. Yeah, she, <laughs> she enjoys the performances. She likes to watch me dance. And let's extend a little further. How did your family react when you started taking classes? Ah, my parents did not approve. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, my mother has come to one of my performances. Okay. What, what did she think? She actually liked it. Oh, good. I mean, she came forward and, uh, afterward and, and found me and said, yeah, she really liked it. So, That's great. Yeah, that was nice. If you have any information or um, inspirations that you'd like to give aspiring male belly dancers, I think this would be a great time. Uh, yeah. Yes, for, for, for other male belly dancers, I would say do it. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't do it for like, you know, praise and adoration because most of America probably won't really understand and they're not going to give it to you anyway. Don't do it because uh, you think you're going to meet a lot of women <laughs> because it's kind of disingenuous. Don't do that. Yeah. Do it because the artist must. Do it because you have to or want to. Yeah. 
That's lovely. Thank you so much for joining me today and for sharing all of your very private experiences, but I think it's it's very helpful to start these discussions and sort of show this information with people that might not know about what it's like for you being a male belly dancer. So I hope that you enjoyed watching this video with James and feel free to go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this and feel free to comment down below. We'll be sure to check them out. Thanks for watching. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Bye. <laughs> oh my